Hello all you Pixel people, I am Pixel and welcome to a let's play of South Park The Stick of Truth. I know that a lot of people are doing this right now, but I'm going to try and be a little bit different by doing it with obviously the face cam, which a lot of people are doing, but it's also a hardcore playthrough. So uh, this could get a little bit interesting and a little bit difficult. I'm not going to waste much time, we're just going to quickly make sure... Yes, the difficulty sets are hardcore, the music a bit lower and everything else is oakly doakly. So, yeah, let, let's jump straight into this. Um, it says continue and load because I did play through the tutorial previously just to make sure it recorded okay. And it did. But enjoy. Deep in the lands of Zara. The humans of Koopa Keep struggle to stay alive as they are attacked by the wicked drow elves of Larnia. Darkness falls as the humans beg their king to save them, a noble king known only as the Grand Wizard. Go on, Carmen. For a thousand years, the battle has been waged, with only the bravery of the Grand Wizard to protect his human followers. But even though the Wizard King is so undeniably cool, the drow elf armies continue their attack. They seek the human's most treasured relic, the Stick of Truth. They do. But the tides of war are soon to change, as news of a new kid spreads throughout the land. In order to save the humans, the Grand Wizard must get to the new kid, before the Drow Elves can manipulate his man and use him to take the sacred relic from human hands. For whomever controls the Stick, controls the universe. Wow. Pretty epic, really. Okay, so we get to create our character. I'm going to basically create myself like everybody else is doing. Um, so I'm pretty pasty white. I've got scruffy hair underneath this hat. Hopefully I can find a red cap later on. Is that kind of... Nah. No. It's most likely this. And then dark brown. And I always wear red, if you can check out any of my other videos. So we're going to look for t-shirt, oh, t-shirt and shorts, okay. Or well, not shorts, that they've got very short legs. I'm, I'm wearing a deepish red this time, but I have got a, a, a bright red, so I'm going to stick with bright red. And secondary, I wear grey tracksuits a lot, or dark blue. Um, let's see which one looks better. Uh, uh, grey. And you can't see on this camera because it's quite low quality and I'm in a little box right now, I'm assuming. So, uh, yeah, but I do have freckles. But actually, it does surprisingly look like I looked as a child. Don't bully me for it. And no, I do not wear glasses. Okay, and before we go any further, guys, I just want to let you all know, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to slap that subscribe button for some more PC gaming goodness. As I will be releasing a part or maybe two parts per day. And you don't want to be missing out on these parts, because they're going to be epic. I hope. Maybe. Possibly. I do wish they had the South Park theme tune. I really do. <laughs> I remember that theme tune from my childhood. Well, I think that's everything. We did it, hun. We're really moved in. It's a new beginning for us. Things are finally going to be good. Do you really think it will be better for him? For me. They won't look for him here. We just need to make sure he doesn't attract any attention. Come on, let's see how he's doing. I want to know who these they are. Sweetie, hun, you all dressed? Kind of. So come in. Hey, champ. How do you like your new room? It's a bit gray. It's not too bad. I know it's a big change for all of us, but, son, do you remember why we moved to this quiet little mountain town? I have no idea, Dad. None at all. He doesn't remember. He doesn't remember at all. That's good. That's good he doesn't remember. <laughs> uh, sweetie, we want you to have lots of fun here. Why don't you go out and make some friends? Uh, if right, I have to. get outside and play, son. Like... Like normal kids. I am normal. We've got some money for you on the kitchen counter, sweetie. Just be back before it gets dark. <laughs> yeah, we love you too. 
Dang it, jackass. So, this is my room. I've got a toy chest. I have a closet. And clothes, toys, computer stuff, all packed by UPS. And two tools. I want tools. And paint. And I've got a little goldfish at the seams. Okay, so as far as I know, just from what I played till the tutorial, anything which is yellow you can normally interact with. So, that I can go into here and... I can pick up 50 cents and a baseball card worth 15 cents. We take all. I'm, I'm assuming that anything that's greyed out is stuff that I can sell but can't use. Junk. Ah, okay, so... Okay, I, I'm, I'm not too bothered about that. Actually, I didn't check if there was anything in here, did I? No. It's empty. So we're just going to have a quick look around this guy's house and then head off to make some new friends in this world. Which should be fun. And that's locked. This is open. An old sponge and a rusty pipe. We'll take all. Nothing in there. Extra cash. Oh, I didn't check this last time, so I can use the shower. I make it rain. I make it rain. I can't close the door. Oh, but I can take a shit. <laughs> oh. I was not ready for that. I'll do it again. <laughs> you have to really work hard to have a poop in this game. <laughs> Wowza. And we have got a shit nugget. <laughs> oh, shit nuggets. I used to actually use the word shit nuggets, or the words shit nuggets as a little, uh, you know when you complain about something, it's like you can say dang it or goddamn or whatever. I used to say shit nuggets. When I was a child, of course, I, I've, I've matured fairly since then. A pigtail wig. Come on, son, get out there, make friends. I will do soon. You're really gonna go outside with that hair? My hair looks fine. So you realize that your hair looks like that? Shut up. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, I just got the wig. Does that mean that he would prefer me to look like a girl? Maybe that's what it is. Maybe he always wanted a daughter. Where is the... <laughs> oh, I look so silly. Come on, son. Get out there. Make. F You're really going to go outside with that hair? Yeah, this is way better. So you realize that your hair looks like that. Oh, uh, okay. I, I, I prefer not to have the wig on, to be honest. I'm not going to waste lots of time doing this kind of stuff in future, guys. I just wanted to see if it would make a difference, to be honest. How do I change it? Da, da, doosh, doosh. So there's money in the kitchen, right? Hey, mom. How you doing? You all right? Money. Two dollars? Are you joking me? It wasn't a request. It was a command. Now get out there and make some friends. Yes, sir. If you insist. Can I go back in? Will you go out and be a kid <laughs> for Christ's sake? Oh. He's intense. Pretty intense. What have we got here? A surfer wig. I can look like a douchebag. Not saying that all surfers are douchebags, just uh... It's a stereotype in the UK, that's all. Oh wait, there's a, there was something here, right? Normally then bags, if it's like a green Terence and Phillips bag, you can normally collect stuff from them. You shall die by my Warhammer, Drow Elf! Nuh-uh! I banish thee to the forest realm! That way, I banish you first! Ha-ha! You can't hold out much longer! Kick his ass, Butters! Somebody! I can't hold out much longer! <laughs> Help! Oh, poor Butters! Dude! No! No! Ouch! Calm it down! Sorry! Why, why are you apologizing? Yeah, I deserve that. <laughs> Butters, you do this! Hey, no fair! That's cheating! I'm gonna tell my mom! You didn't tell my mom! Thanks, kid! I didn't realize he had a health potion. But my name is Butters the Merciful. I'm a paladin. I live right next door to you. We should be friends. Mission succeeded. Now that we're friends, 
You should speak with the Wizard King. He's been talking about your arrival. Okay. The wizard lives this way, in the greenhouse, over there. Okay, okay, come back this way first. I've made friends, so I'm assuming I can go back into the house, right? They've locked me out. <laughs> oh, Parents of the Year Award goes to... Hey, where are you from? Um, Manchester. Where'd you live before moving here? Preston. You like Colorado? It's a bit cold. <laughs> so, you are the new kid. Your coming was foretold by Coldwell Banker. I am the Wizard King. But the time for talk is not now. Let me show you my kingdom. Yes, sir. I would love to see your kingdom. Oh, who's your new friend, Eric? Shut up, Mom. Not now. I'm Pixel, mate. How you doing, love? Don't be friends. Don't talk to her. She's not part of the game. What? Don't talk to her. She's not part of the game. I don't care. She's not part of the game. I want... Don't talk to her, she's not part of the game. Stolen your stuff, mate. Welcome to the kingdom of Koopa Keep. Ah. Uh. Our weapon shop here is tended by Clyde, a level 14 warrior. Hi, Clyde. Here you can see our <laughs> massive stables, overseen by the level 9 massive ranger, stables. Scott Malkinson, who has the power of diabetes. That power. And here, of course, is the breathtaking and lovely Princess Kenny, Arr. the fairest maiden in all the kingdom. Don't ask why Kenny wanted to be a chick, it's just how he seems to be rolling right now. <laughs> oh, the mice. I do miss when I was younger, because I remember I used to have a, a vivid imagination. And I used to play games, obviously, when, when, you, when you're a little toddler kind of thing. And use all your imagination. So let's have a quick look around. The Rock of Insanity. Be careful. The Rock of Insanity holds mysterious powers. Really? What kind of powers? Okay, you're insane now. If you want to be healed, you must gaze at the rock again. No! Nope. I like being insane. I do not want to gaze at the rock again. My loyalty is as incurable as my diabetes. <laughs> the power of diabetes is both a gift and a curse. The must be a curse. Poor guy. The Grand Wizard would hold snacks if we talk off script. <laughs> Stick to your lines. No talking, Scott. Why is he crazy? Pool of wisdom. Ah, yes, the pool of vision. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh, vision. Sorry. Do not disturb the sacred waters. Why not? You're messing with powers you don't understand. I don't care. Mom, the new kid keeps trying to pop the pool of vision. <laughs> what a grass. What a grass. Ah, you have located the training area where our massive army learns to fight. Massive army. And there is two training dummies. No wonder you're getting your ass kicked by the elves. The wizard stump. Perhaps one day I will show you what it does. The wizard stump just sounds like a, a deep, dirty innuendo. Some say he who discovers the secret of the wizard stump is the master of his own destiny. Really? I figured it out the other day. Pretty easy, at least for me. <laughs> Carmen, you crack me up, son. The wizard stump. Perhaps one day I will show you what it does. You'll show me your wizard stump, will you? Uh, I'm not interested, mate. Thanks for the offer. Wow. Behold the distant realm of downtown, home of corrupt merchant lords and homeless people. Lots of homeless people. I, I really should just get on with this. It's going to be a very long part. If I could keep the first part on under half an hour. You heard of my deeds at the Battle of Stark's Pod. I haven't, mate. If I can keep the first part under half an hour, then I will aim for like 20 minute parts. After that, don't forget this That's is hardcore. That's the line the Grand Wizard gave me. Sorry, but the Grand Wizard told me to stick to this. Yes, sir, we get it. <laughs> what he said. <laughs> I saw a flower. You're sexy. <laughs> you are welcome. The beautiful Princess Kenny. Oh. As court paladin, my job is to deliver the Wizard King's justice and his mail. Okay. You have been sought out, new kid, because humans everywhere are in great danger. I need something from you, and in return, I am prepared to allow you into my kingdom. Oh, thanks. I know you are very excited. It's time for your yeah. first quest. But first, please tell us thy name. I am Pixel. You entered Douchebag, is that correct? No. Are you sure you want to keep the name Douchebag? It's not too bad. 
Very well, douchebag. You will now choose a class. Fighter, mage, thief, or Jew. Now, this is an awkward one, right? Because I've got a feeling that most people on the internet doing these kind of let's plays are going to pick Jew because it's kind of funny and offensive. And I've seen a, mage is like a, wizard, only not as cool. a couple of people a pick up thief? the mage Never heard of one, thief. but interesting. Oh, racism. Come on, Cartman. Seckle down, son. A mage is like a wizard, only not as cool. You look sneaky enough to be a thief. Jew, huh? So I guess we'll never really be friends. Uh -huh. A white thief? Never heard of one, but interesting. <laughs> Jew, huh? So you look sneaky. We'll a be mage a fighter. is like a wizard, only not a white fighter? Haven't seen a good one of those in a while. Oh. We welcome to our kingdom, Douchebag the Fighter. Yes. Hooray! Now please, go and visit the weapon shop. Procure yourself a weapon and we shall teach you to fight. Yes, sir. Clyde. Would you like to see my wares, weary travelers? Yes, please. Perhaps you would like to hear tips and rumors for two dollars? Don't waste your money on tips and rumors. I've got a feeling that that tip is more helpful than uh, we may realize at this point. So let's pick up a weapon. Everything is locked. So we just get a warrior's ah, blade. A lovely purchase. Clyde, put your back into this, mate. Get some enthusiasm. Yeah, what a lovely purchase. Would you like a weapon? Don't let it bother you that there's a game to be played. Good, now how about you equip your weapon instead of carrying it in a bag where it's completely useless? <laughs> oh, this game, this game. Um, weapon, warrior's blade. That's sorted. What else have I got? Let's put on the surfer wig for it. I look like a douchebag. I really look like a douchebag. Okay. Ah, you have procured a <laughs> weapon. Nice. It's now time to teach you how to fight. I want you to take your new weapon and, with the bravery of a noble knight, beat up Clyde. Come on, Clyde. Kick Clyde's ass, new kid. What I do. <laughs> I'm the king, Clyde, and the king wishes to be amused. Go on, new kid. Kick his ass. Okay. I'm gonna kick your ass. Clyde, you have to wait your turn. That's lame. No, Clyde, it's like olden times. You have to wait your turn. Like in the Middle Ages, Clyde. I know it's lame, Clyde, but that's how we're fucking doing it. All right, douchebag, bash Clyde's face in. Don't be shy. I'm not shy. And he's blocking. Um, press A, A. I can't remember how to fight properly. So when my weapon flashes, press A to attack. Come on, fight. Chill out, fella. <laughs> like that. Oh, hell yeah, Clyde's your bitch. <laughs> All right, Clyde's wearing armor. In order to hurt him, I want you to hit Clyde as hard as you can. That's with X, right? Boom! Heck! Oh shit, dude, I think I see blood! <laughs> Fucking nice, bro. Fucking nice, exactly bro. what you do to guys with armor like that. Okay, listen up. The key to surviving in battle is not to get hit in the bows. Clyde, it's your turn to attack. Douchebag, protect your bows. Like, how do I know that someone's got armor? Prepare yourself. Ah! No, no, I said protect. Protect your back. Okay, on hardcore, it looks like you've got literally zero time to block. This does double damage. Wow. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Dude, you're already way better yeah, than that. Yeah, obviously. All right, it's time to use your heroic powers. Using your ability takes power points, or PP for short. <laughs> <laughs> PP. <laughs> if you have a fucking better name for them, then fucking say it, Clyde. Fucking asshole. I'm the king, and I say it's PP. Yes, sir. Respect. Use your fighter ability to make Clyde pay for insulting the king. Yes, sir. So, which one do we have? I haven't played as a fighter yet. Assault some battery. Club your foe with a baseball bat. On a perfect success, deal additional attacks. Okay, press A to throw the ball, and press A to swing. This is harsh. Ah. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Sorry, Clyde. Dude, that was pretty lame. Try it again, dude. What? I tried my best. I suppose on hardcore, I really can't be missing any of these, but... Oh! Way to wipe that smile off his stupid that face, That was worse. Bag. Now do it one more time. Finish him. What? Yeah. I was going easy. Take this. Ah. I've got no PP, though, so I can't use that again. I suppose I just need to whack him. I wonder if he's still armored. Let's. I think he was classed as armored because he was blocking. So let's try this. Ah. Yeah, so it was because he was blocking, he was armored. Ah. That was bad. Oh, we've got this. Didn't count. 
Oh, come on. One more hit. There's literally zero times of luck on Hardcore. <laughs> Dude, that was awesome! You were all like, beam, and Cloud was all like, nah, nah. <laughs> okay, okay, you prove yourself worthy, douchebag. Now come inside the war tent and I shall let you see the relic. Okay. Actually, what, what, I did this quick bit before. Um, I think I'm going to go into the tent and then I'll end the part, then I will upload a second part tonight, straight after this, to get a tutorial out in two parts, because otherwise it's going to stretch on stupidly long. So I'm sorry about that, guys. I've been a little bit slow. Well, here it is. The reason why humans and elves are locked in a never-ending war. The relic for which human and elf are willing to die. The Stick of Truth. It's literally a stick. Just two days ago, we took the stick back from the elves. Our kingdom was dying, but now it thrives. For whoever controls the stick controls the universe. Don't gaze at it too much, <laughs> for its power is too much for mere mortals to look at. Now that you have seen the stick of truth, let's discuss your dues. Being a member of my kingdom costs nine ninety five for the first week, four dollars of which is tax deductible. Alarm! 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 Someone has sounded the alarm! 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 What is it? The elves are attacking! Oh my god! Defensive position! Actually, we might be able to squeeze this into a part. Actually, we'll, we'll do this part. We'll do this bit. We'll do it. We, we, we've got time. Look at the stick. It's a stick. I should have guessed. Douchebag, come help us. Yeah, wait a minute, mate. And what is this? Okay, so this is a map. I'm wondering if this means anything. So Cooper Castle, so Kenny's house. Uh, we need to check out what that house is over there. So it's past the church. We'll remember that for later on, just in case. Can't remember all these ch oh, chicken bones. And this is taking a look out of Game of Thrones with the Iron Throne. And look at that, guys. We have got an orc, which has got a six inch boner. Dang it, it's bad. I'm trying to read what it says on that wall, but it doesn't matter. Let's just uh, get this over and done with. Man the gate! Don't let them through! Give us the stick, humans! Fuck you, Drow Elf! Fuck you! Come get it! Clan, guard the stick of truth while we defend the fortress! Aye, aye! Aye, aye! We're not playing pirates, Clan! Fucking Clan. This is your chance to prove yourself. Hold off the asshole elves at all costs! Okay! Ah. No, Ow. who should we go for first? Well, this guy's hitting a cat. Bird. Butters, you're losing! Stop oh. losing! But, but I don't want to make him feel bad! <laughs> Butters. Just leave the cat alone. I'll show you how to beat Buzzy Kid. Do it, douchebag. Kick these elves' asses. We'll do this. Okay, so let's just not waste... Oh, it's a tutorial, though, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I wasn't... You're wounded, douchebag. Hold that hurts. Here. Cheesy poofs. Let's just uh, get through this as fast as possible. I'm ready. We'll say you can have one potion every turn. I asked for five, but this was a compromise. <laughs> Fuck, kid. This guy's fast, douchebag. Try to block all his attacks. Okay. Eat shit. Well, if this job doesn't work out, at least you've got a future as a training dummy. <sighs> Come on, get it right. It's hard on hardcore. It's a lot harder. I, I said block, not get nailed by. Maybe I wasn't clear. Try again. Shut it. I said block, not get nailed by. Maybe I wasn't clear. Try again. No, it... I'm assuming it's gonna crash. Ah! Why can't I do this? Lock, not get nailed by. Maybe okay, I right. Clear. Try again. This is embarrassing. I will do it this time. I promise. Die, asshole! Block, <laughs> not get nailed by. Maybe I wasn't clear. Try again. Okay, okay. You're mine now. Why? Lock, not get nailed by. Fuck. Maybe I wasn't clear. Try again. This is easy. Why am I? Fuck you. Okay, if you block all the attacks, you get a counterattack. Look at your enemy on the ground. Weak and helpless. Kick the shit out of him. Yes. Okay. We're, oh, we're not going to mess it. We're, we're going to be okay now. These elves in the name of the Wizard King. Yes, sir. I've done it again. I'm so bad. 12, 21. We'll kill this guy first. There we go. Then we just need to... You want some of this? Perfect. Ah. Sorted. See, I, I can do the timing. I don't know what it was with that. I think it's the pressure of knowing that it was going to make me redo it again and again and again. Did he drop anything? Yeah. Take... Hey, I got you back. 
You You're not doing hammers. anything. What was that for? Leave the guys on the ground, fella. Come on. You got this, douchebag. Yep. Feel my wrath. Die, asshole. What are you waiting for, douchebag? That guy's just standing there. Go kick his ass. Yeah, and he's gonna hit me in the face. See? <laughs> oh man, he was totally waiting for you, dude. You can't just hit him like that. I know. You need to try a different tactic to damage him. Look at that archer hiding behind his friend like a wood. Switch to your arrows, douchebag. Snipe that little bitch. Sounds like a deal. Sweet, now you can hit the guy in the back. Go for the pink mitt. Okay. Boom! Oh! Ah! He got sniped. Yeah, bitch, that's what you get for fucking with the wizard king. So he's ready for my yeah, arrows now. That guy's ready for your arrows now. You gotta try something else. We will try just smacking him in the face with a baseball bat and a ball. Ah. Oh, that guy got owned. Great job, douchebag. Thank you. Now what? One more, one more. Ah. Wait, wait, what did you drop? Ah. What did you drop? Butters, hey, I'm here to help. Right to Sorry, that, wrong guy. Bye, Butters. Come on, you two. You two are the Let's last ones. This, We've got this. Okay, that guy has a shield. Shields are super weak. Just hit them with your simplest hit over and over to wear them down quickly. Yes, sir. Oh. Um, Hell yeah, that's how you do it. This guy's armored. The other elf let his guard down. Now's your chance. Power attack his armor. Okay. Boom! Ow. And another hit, so I'm gonna have to do a block. That's it. Now finish him! Yeah. Oh, if I was a little bit earlier, I could have got a two hit. Let's uh, go overkill on this guy. You're gonna regret this fella. Dude! Catch! Oh. That is how we most certainly roll. Hardcore's gonna be no problem. Drow elves, fall back! Fall back, I say! Yes! Awesome, dude! Take that, you asshole elves! Better luck next time! Na 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 na! We still control the universe! <laughs> it's God. What? The stick of truth. The elves got it. Clyde? That was your one goddamn job, Clyde! To guard the stick of fucking truth! Clyde? You are hereby. Banished from space and time! What? <laughs> no! You can't do that! Yeah, I can! You're banished and lost in time and space! Yeah! Go home, Clyde! You fought bravely on the Poor battlefield, Clyde. douchebag. Yeah, this new kid may be a douchebag, but he sure can't fight! Shut up, Scott. Nobody cares what you think. Anyways, we have a bigger problem now. The Stick of Truth has been stolen, and we must assemble our entire army in order to get it back. But our three best warriors still haven't reported for duty, my king! Our newest member can take care of that. Douchebag! I want you to go out into the neighborhood and find my greatest warriors, Token, Tweak, and Craig. I'm texting their pictures to your personal inventory device now. Thank you. But beware. The lands outside are full of marauding drow elves, monsters, and sixth graders. Be sure you're well equipped. Now go! And send my warriors here! Fighters, go with him. Okay, before we go, we're just gonna do a quick... So we've got upgrade available. So we're just gonna sort this out before we actually get off. I wanna do... Oh, what's this? A swift kick in the balls... Results a surprising number. Okay. Yes, we'll be kicking the ball magic. And what else did we do? We had two new friends. Princess Kenny and Scott. Oh, did Clyde not add me? Clyde's a douche. Like if you think I'm the fairest maiden in all the land. Seriously, Princess Kenny, you don't have to keep posting this. Hey, mate. You got Guess I'm minding the shop now. You need any weapons or armor? Yes, right. That's a pretty good word here. I'm sure you ask. Weapons. Is there any level two stuff? I've just leveled up. Um. Oh, we'll take yeah. that. Any? You name it. Well, how may I be of service? I, I want to see. Here's what we're selling today. You got any good equipment? Clyde's helmet. Adds free armor, reducing enemy attacks. We'll take good that. Choice. Fleur. We've got six dollars left. Halfling wig. Cartman's comb over, 50s glasses, bandage and cut, Celtic battle paint. Nah, weapon strap-ons. Level 3, equipment patches, too high. 
consumables do not need. Okay, so we've, we've got all this sorted out. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode, guys. This is part one of the South Park Stick of Truth Let's Play. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to slap that subscribe button for some more PC gaming goodness. And as always, like the video if you like the video. And I will be back very shortly with more episodes. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye, guys.